what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review today we're going to take a look at mike hale uh, not really michael but uh we all know who it is michael corleone from the godfather 2 and this is the box kind of similar to uh, the mob boss basically this is mob boss part 2 uh, also from the godfather so i decided to pick this one up it's uh i love the godfather and i don't know if hot toys or damn toys who, whoever has the license would ever make a michael corleone and uh for 129 i believe or 139 right now at um a one six corner you can pick this up and it basically for 139 it's, it's just a body and and all the outfits and all that stuff so might as well pick this up right like so it's not a perfect figure but again for the price really can't complain i mean you get a a couch there for 139 so that's not too bad it's it is actually on sale so i'll put the link down below i'll also put my uh, my uh, code so you can get a bit of a discount there so let's see what's inside you get the bottle of jack daniels you get this uh uh you know glass as well you get a watch and some cigarette and this piece right here it's pretty big um, you know you got to take out the foam but this is the actual figure itself it's not bad but when you pick it up I think it's too tall for the uh, foam insert so you, you know they remove the feet so now you gotta take this out and now you expose some of the uh, accessories as well like the hands he has his own stand which is pretty awesome you know you got Michael right there in right spelling and uh, you got some hands that doesn't make any sense why they are like that and the biggest piece of accessory here is the couch which looks pretty good it is made out of uh, fabric and uh, velcro uh, to put them together and these are the hands that is included with the figure now they're supposed to the hands look like uh, hands for two-face there's no proper hands here for whatever uh it is nicely painted though it's not like one of those sw toys where it is just shiny so it is at least kind of nice it's it's nice enough for a third party figure you get a watch that is uh you know again decently uh, you know made in here you can see the details on the side here but yeah de decent enough it's plastic you get the uh, shot glass with a little bit of whiskey on it and jack daniels which you could use in many um form you know if you have logan or any any one six figure itself it is it's nice you know i i i, I this is what else can you put really for michael corleone he barely used the gun mm, you know that that's that's basically it you know that's basically what you can ask for and the old school stand from back in the day where you do have the oval stand with a sticker of michael have him in there sitting the funny part is they didn't even use the uh the scene where he is actually wearing what he's wearing right now and now let's go into the biggest piece of accessory which is the couch and it's pretty awesome so you can see here it is nicely done made out of uh, fabric i'm glad they went this route the funny part is the um the, it almost matches his suit so it's it's kind of awkward but uh, i did have the couch for my um um uh, these uh this figure from star ace and that is made out of leather but this is this is good enough you know you, you see all the zippers in the back and this is made held by velcro which is pretty strong so on the back part if you make him lean a little bit you know it kind of moves out of the place but here is the figure itself so as far as the suit i think it's fairly decently done that um his tie is a bit loose on the uh, knot so you can probably futz it around um i'm not gonna do that it's just too much work for third party uh same goes with the mob boss with the uh, vito corleone it's not vito is a bit more complicated now the suit is not bad it's not baggy uh it doesn't close out though uh the, you can see the stitching is not you know completely well done you can see the seams in there also his shoe he does have socks but on the upper part and the black part right there is also made out of plastic which is the first time i've seen this kind of you know feet basically which is uh pretty interesting at least for me and um the only, there's nothing wrong with the suit honestly it's uh again it's decently done I, i'm not a big fan of the stitching here because it's you can see how loose it is 
but what are you gonna expect this is what 139 so you know this, this <laughs> you're not paying premium here if because if you did pay for the damn toys Vito Corleone that is 250 if you add shipping and tax you're looking at close to 300 dollars there so you know i mean you gotta put your expectations where you hump for how much you paid for but all in all i'm pretty happy with this um i'd rather have the three-piece suit um to cover the tie as much as possible you know the one that they showed on the stand i think i'd rather have that you know as a display piece but the shoe is is decently made as well you know you know it's gonna really look at that so i i am fairly happy now as far as the head sculpt i i guess i'm really surprised on how well it turned out as you can see there it it resembles him completely now i've heard things that i'm not into uh, customs but apparently this is a recast of some artist's work so hopefully they uh came up to terms in there but i don't know I i'm not you know i'm not gonna go into that details but i'm it, it turned out pretty good it turned out pretty well the uh paint application is a bit sloppy here and there you know you can see some uh, you know missed paints and whatnot you can see the seams on the top of the head but again at the same time you know it, it is what it is it's 139 at the end of the day and i got a good representation of michael corleone if you kit bash this you buy a head sculpt you know let's say on ebay buy a separate suit you're probably gonna spend more a body you know a body's pretty cheap you know you can get a body for like under twenty dollars a, a pretty good one don't buy the ten dollar ones because it's just flimsy um then you buy the suit legs you know the the bottle shot glass i'm pretty sure that's gonna push you back more than 150 dollars so for for the price that i paid for this i think it's a steal granting how how good how good this head sculpt looks if you buy this on ebay you're probably looking at around at least at the minimum 39.99 or 40 dollars maybe maybe at a minimum and uh let's let's take a look at some poses for him here he is as you can see he's looking good standing holding the uh shot glass right there in a in a hotel you know entrance or whatever turning around yeah i mean i love that godfather 2 and godfather 1 as well i never thought i was gonna love it as much uh i watched it when i was a bit younger and i found it boring then i rewatched it as an adult my god that was a classic i've yet to see godfather 3 though i i didn't hear a lot of good things about it but i'm still curious to see it you know i'm still i still want to see it again i this is a good compliment even if you are waiting for the damn toys veto I think this is a good compliment to have him anyway you know and here he is sitting on the uh on his couch and and as you can see he could pose really well it's a normal type body you know i didn't do any articulation you know what to expect there's no hindrance in um as far as posing him in so if you want to you can futz around with a with a you know with, with a pants pull it down a little bit and as you can see the back part of the couch when he's kind of like sitting on it or leaning on it it tends to like go back it's only being held via velcro at the bottom so that's why this thing kind of happens and here he is right next to his father vito corleone i think it looks good i think they look good together man I think they look good as as i said this is this is all you need if you let's say you put him on a detolf you can put them sitting right next to each other and the good thing about these figures is that you can never have too many guys in suits because at worst you can use them as bad guys as a fill-in for bad guys right like if you have if you're creating a scene for uh a matrix for neo you can have a lot of guys in suits so i can pair them up with my star ace um you know other figures which is uh they're also in suit so breaking bad gangster types you know it, that's the beauty of these figures and here he is standing up Vito's always going to be sitting though you know that's just i mean they both have stands but Vito, you know he's iconic when he's sitting on that chair so he's going to remain in that chair but i'm just showing uh showing to you, this to you guys that man they they don't they look good together i mean this this set right here 
cost me under $300. Just two sets and they both have, they're just not figures, they come with chairs. So you have the option of standing them up or having them sit down. I think it's, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Nowadays, if you buy a regular Hot Toys, it would push you back $300 anyway. But this, since, it, since I bought it at one six corner, there's no tax, shipping is free. If you're willing to wait, and the shipping is pretty uh, fast for two weeks. I would, I highly recommend this figure. It is beautiful for the price that I paid for this. It's, it's, it's a pretty good deal. I'm telling you guys, uh, if you're ever even a slight fan of the Godfather, do yourself a favor and pick this one up. I mean, for 139 right now, it's on sale. Even if you can even use my code and then push it, push it down a little bit more. At least you can secure one. If they ever come out with a better figure down the line, let's say Damn Toys makes one, then, you know, you only paid 140 It's not that big of a deal, you know? And, and now you got two. I got that Vito. I don't even feel the need to get the Damn Toys anymore. I'm happy enough. You know, this is not like Captain America where you need, where it has to be like super detailed. But I, again, I highly recommend this figure. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next video.